Classroom Screen is a really great one-stop shop for your classroom. And it's a freemium product that costs $30 a year, but you can actually use the free version and it's fantastic. I'm gonna hit try for free and show you a little of what it can do. Um, you wanna play with all of these little settings and things. So you can change the background, tons of options, search for more, add your own. You can pull your class. These are the types of polls. Every name randomizer is fantastic. Such a great way to call on students so that they all have to be paying attention because they don't know who's going to be called. You just paste your class list. You could put it in a Google Doc or something on, saved on your desktop. Um, and then you can change some of the features and settings. I'm not going to show you this for every single widget, but most of them have settings and you can change colors and all sorts of little settings for them. And then you can hit continue. And then here, any of these can be resi uh, resized. You'd hit this and it would pull the list. One of the things to note with the randomizer is whether or not you want it to remember the chosen students so it doesn't call on them again. Sound Leveler uses your document camera to listen to the noise. You can change that threshold. You can pull in an image. You can pull in and type text. You can also use these great work symbols. Traffic light. Timetable is fantastic for those who want to stay on a schedule. You can actually type in your schedule here and it will show up and then help you do all of the timers throughout those times. You can also do a traditional timer. You can resize these. Hit play. Clock as expected. Under more lots more hides. So these are some of these are excellent. You can actually edit that widget bar so your favorite stuff shows up first. One of those things is embed. I love the embed feature. You can go to a Google slide presentation that your team has made or to a Canva presentation and you would grab the publish to the web code. So you'd hit publish to the web if you're on Google slides, hit embed, make sure you have that published and you would grab this as long as it doesn't have confidential information, you're golden. And then you can go in there, paste that code in and hit run code. And now it's going to embed your Google slide presentation for the day right in here. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel, but you can have your Google slide presentation alongside all of the different work symbols that you might want to use for the day. And you can rearrange that. Um, in addition, you can embed a video. There's a great dice feature, but it's not just dice. If you go to the settings, there's other things that you can pull like flipping a coin, having multiple dice, um, and then you can even customize how many sides that your dice might have in the colors. Under more again, there's a visual time webcam. So if you wanted to show your webcam, you're trying to illustrate something, show by hand how to do a math problem. You can do that right there. There's a stopwatch. There's an event countdown. So if you want to have some kind of fun thing for like mammal madness for science, you can have the countdown going. QR code if you want that on the board. There's a sticker feature, hyperlinks, etc. And then scoreboard's a pretty new one. You can actually choose if you want that or if you'd want points or if you'd want to do a race and then you can be having teams play and you can be giving them points. Tons more that this can do including doodling. Um, highly suggest you play around.